Hi everyone, I'm Monica, and we're here to talk about the person inside the uniform. Find out firsthand what a Navy Petty Officer might experience and what she does during her downtime in today's Navy Lifestyle webcast. I'm here with Mineman First Class Rachel M. Cassidy, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her life in the Navy. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Thank you for having me, Monica. Just call me Rachel. Okay, Rachel. We've talked about how you're comfortable in three different environments, the land, sea, and air. But for this lifestyle segment, we would like to know more about what goes on when the workday is over. So where are you currently stationed? I'm currently stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, and how long have you been there? Um, I've been there for about a year and a half now. Now, do you live... Um, in an apartment, uh, off base? Now, I recently uh, bought a house. Mm -hmm. um, it's about uh, 10 miles from the base, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and I love it. I'm, I do a lot of work around the house. Oh, cool. So what time are you <clears throat> usually done with work? Usually, I mean, it depends on what we have going on that week, but typically I'm out of there by 4 o'clock. Really? Yes. So you've got enough time to work on your house and yes. do other things. Mm -hmm. So what do you like to do usually when 4, 4.30 rolls around? Um, I just bought a house, so I like to do, I'm doing a lot of remodeling projects and painting. Mm -hmm. um, I have a little puppy that I take Aww. walking all the time. Um, my husband and I go to movies and I go shopping and out to dinner. So where are you from? I'm from Newberry, South Carolina. And have you been back there lately? Yes, I went home in June for my brother's wedding. Oh, how nice. Yes. So do you get to see some of your old friends? Yes, I saw a lot of them back in June. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we had to spend a little bit of time together. And what did they think about your career in the Navy? They, um, they're very, very impressed. I mean, do it, they know that you get to blow <clears throat> stuff up yes, for a living? Yes, yes. My, my brother is constantly, you know, singing my <laughs> praises, and, and 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 everybody's, you know, just completely taken back by what I do, and and it's it's almost, you know, embarrassing because I, it's what I do every day for work, but mm -hmm. but for them, it's you know, it's a big deal. It is. It's amazing. So what does your family think about all of this? They're, um, you know, they're, they're very supportive. They're very proud of me. And, um, you know, my mom, she's a little, <laughs> she's a little scared about my job, but, but they've all been great. They've all, they're all so proud and, and supportive. Now, I understand your family is from a military background as well. Yes. Your grandfather was a retired Army colonel, mm -hmm. and your father was an Army ranger. Right. Your mom and brother also enlisted in the Army. Yes. So is there any rivalry between you guys? Um, you know, a little bit when they have the Army-Navy football game. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I think they, they realized that I made the right decision by joining the Navy, and it was, it was the best decision for me. So, so they're supportive. They're very no supportive, what. right. Great. Now, when you're deployed, how long does that typically last? Six months. Okay. Six months. And you said that your favorite place to visit was Paris? Yes. Paris, France was probably the most exciting place I've been to. I saw so many, you know, landmarks that, like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre and things I had seen as a young girl, and I actually got to see them in person. So wow. it, was, it was amazing. So you spent some time in a lot of other foreign countries. Uh, right. You mentioned Greece, Italy, Spain, mm -hmm. and France, to name a few. Um, which do you think has the best food? I would say Greece really? had the best food. Their gyros were, were awesome. I ate one like every single day I was there. <laughs> I, lo I love their food. Okay. Which do you think has the friendliest people? Um, I think Spain probably had the friendliest people. I, I went to Madrid while I was there, and, and everyone was, was really helpful and outgoing and supportive. It mm -hmm. was, yes. It was and how time. are people when you go to other countries? Are they all... I've, I've never had a bad experience, I mean, in, in all the countries that I've been to. People are, are very... Um, kind to you? <laughs> yes. You know, they kind of embrace you mm -hmm. as, as military and as being an, as American. And, That's great. And, and Which country do you think was the most beautiful? Um, I know it's probably tough. <laughs> You've seen is. so many. Paris, to me, was the most beautiful. The architecture, everything was amazing. So what would you say was the most memorable experience since being in the Navy? Oh. If you could name one. There's a few. <laughs> I, I think graduating UD school was such a mentally and physically challenging school. And graduating and, and then going on to jump school um, after that was, was probably what something I'll remember for, for the rest of my life for sure. So. so in what ways do you think that you have changed as a person since you joined the Navy? Um, I know that I'm more confident. And what I do, I'm more focused. 
I have a lot more determination. I'm able, you know, to set goals and, and actually achieve them. Mm -hmm. And um, I've developed as a leader also. Great. And in your seven years of active duty, which do you think was your proudest moment? I have to say, after I graduated EUD school, arrived at my next command, and I was um, assigned as the leading petty officer for my detachment there. Okay. Now, if somebody asked you if he or she should join the Navy, would you recommend it to them, and what would you say to them? I would definitely recommend it to them. It's, it's an amazing place to start, you know. Um, leave yourself open to, to all the options and look into what the Navy has to offer. I have a, a 17 year old brother, mm -hmm. myself, that is looking to join the Navy next year. Oh, cool. So it's definitely something I would re recommend to anyone. And what does he think about what you do? He probably thinks it's really he cool. He loves it. He's, <laughs> you know, send me pictures all the time, so. Okay, great. Very good advice. Yeah. Well, Rachel, it seems like we have run out of time. I want to thank you very much for coming out to do this interview, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Next month, we're going to be speaking with another Navy guest and hear all about their life in the Navy, so be sure to stay tuned. I'm Monica, letting you know that if you would like to see the world, taste delicious cuisine from around the world, and interact with different and unique cultures, the Navy could be just the place for you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.